explain Einstein's theory of photoelectric effect. According to Einstein, the emission of photoelectron is the result of the interaction between a single photon of the incident radiation and an electron in the metal. When a photon of energy H nu is incident on a metal surface, its energy is used up in two ways. One of the way is a part of the energy of the photon is used in extracting the electron from the surface of metal since the electrons in the metal are bound to the nucleus. This energy W spent in releasing the photoelectron is known as the photoelectric work function of the metal. The work function of a photometal is defined as the minimum amount of energy required to liberate an electron from the metal surface. The another way is the remaining energy of the photon is used to impart the kinetic energy to the liberated electron. If m is the mass of an electron and v its velocity, then energy of the incident photon is equal to work function plus kinetic energy of the electron. That is h nu equal to work function w plus kinetic energy is 1 by 2 half mv square. If the electron does not lose energy by internal collision as it escapes from the metal, the entire energy h nu minus w will be exhibited as kinetic energy of the electron. Thus, h nu minus w represents the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectron. If V max is the maximum velocity with which the photoelectron can be ejected, then H nu equal to W plus half mv square max. This equation is known as Einstein photoelectric equation. When the frequency nu of the incident radiation is equal to the threshold frequency nu naught of the metal surface, kinetic energy of the electron is zero. Then equation 2 becomes H nu naught equal to W. By substituting the value of W, we get H nu minus H nu naught equal to 12 mv square max or h into nu minus nu naught is equal to half mv square max. This is another form of Einstein's photoelectric equation. Please subscribe our channel for more videos and educational contents.